Before you watch this video, if you are in the New York City area and like Pokemon Tournament with soon to come Street Fighter V and Guilty Gear, then check out Nebulous Gaming New York City every Thursday for cash prizes. Links to the Nebulous Facebook page, EGO Twitch, and Hitbox will be provided below for more details. Tournaments for anime games like One Piece Burning Blood and Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm will happen depending on the level of support. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, what is up? The King of Lightning is here today, bringing you guys and gals, Toriko, la la, Toriko, Komatsu, <laughs> chapter 374, Biting and Biting Back. And this first page is something crazy like you can just tell they're going crazy right here gourmet cell demons almost never eat another gourmet cell demon these demons are manifestations born of appetite in other words they are made up of 100 percent pure gourmet cells if a nitro were to prey on another nitro both of their gourmet cells would be too strong and durable and the cells would be unable to be digested in the worst case scenario both of them would end up bursting apart and dying the gourmet cell nucleus, the old, mm, the gourmet cell nucleus, the old center. That, ladies and gentlemen, is some pretty big fucking news right there. Was excluded from the planet's full course list by the nitro for that very reason. It is dangerous for the nitro to eat center directly. Sometimes, oh, fuck, man, Neo. Don Slime. You know what? Fuck, now I think about it, Don Slime hasn't come back yet. Don Slime may be dead. He may be earnestly, honestly dead. No! That fucking sucks. Sometimes cells that are too powerful do take in other gourmet cells, just like Neo who devoured Don Slime. And then you have Adam talking, as was the case with Jiro. In fact, it is by eating so many Nitro that it achieved that absurd strength. But what's even more absurd is for someone to eat Neo. Oh, man, yeah. I mean, it's crazy. Let alone trying to put it on your full course. That's just insane. Your body won't be able to handle it. It would burst wide open. But listen, though. Listen, Torigo has the other motherfucker. Blue is now, like, pseudo-active because he's enjoying Torigo taking a bite out of Neo. But the third guy... Guarantee you the third guy, he loves some Neo meat. That sounds weird, pause, no homo, but either way, you get what I mean. And there's some weird, like, pseudo cannibalism going on there. But once again, you got the third guy, and I guarantee you the third guy wouldn't mind having Neo as a snack. <laughs> I guarantee you that. Let's go. Eat. Me? Eat God! Mm, Acacia, yo, he, nah. <laughs> He's not liking the concept of being on someone's dinner plate. No, 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 no. Fuck that. You can't eat a God. That truly must be the greatest insult you can muster. Toriko. No, no, no. It's not an insult. It's the greatest respect I know. Chopsticks, fork, spoon. What do you think God uses to eat with? And then out comes red. Toriko. Yo, Acacia, what are you gonna do? Acacia, he's in form, he's pissed. What do you think God eats with? Let's find the fuck out. Bare hands. Wait, hold on, is that some Buddha shit? Gourmet hand. Look at this. Yo, you come with the palm thrust and reds in full defense mode. It has quite a bit of force. Not the most we've seen in the series, obviously, but that is some pure Buddha palm. That is pure Kung Fu hustle. Yo, I love that movie! That is pure Kung Fu Hustle. Blue. Well, boys, Blue is back in action! Oh, no! Blue! Oh, is Blue about to go buck wild on somebody? I think he is. <laughs> so you have Red in the front right there, blocking the attack for Toriko. You have Blue in the back. Brace yourself. 
hang on to your pants, Toriko. And Acacia is like, who in the fuck? Like, yeah, where did this one come from? Does Acacia know? Is, uh, is Acacia aware of the three gourmet demons inside of Toriko? I don't think he is. I don't think he is. Oh, shit. Yo, I can't wait for the third one to come out. Oh, this guy's going to be godly. I can't wait for it. Blue Spit. Ah, he's attacking Acacia head on. Reckless, but powerful. Then You know what? You know what? No, no. He is more powerful than Red. How much more powerful? I don't know. Wait a second. Is there no Neo there to devour the attack? Straight up? Devil Fork. Yo, there's a minor space shot. Understand that it hit Acacia dead on. And Neo normally nerfs attacks by munching on them. But it goes through Acacia. And there is a minor space shot of the attack. And then he's going to follow up with the Devil Fork. That attack was fairly powerful. Who the hell are you? Gourmet <laughs> Devil Fork, fuck that. Gourmet Punch. Dude, look at that face, man. <laughs> he has the saltiest and funniest faces among most shonen villains I've seen. Blue is enjoying himself. He's loving this right now. So Devil Fork versus Gourmet Punch. And right here, who the hell are you? <laughs> oh, shit. All right, Blue. The fact that Blue could just come out Torgo like that and just start fighting one-on-one. -on -one is something that I think still needs full explaining. Though granted, he has eaten more of full course, so I'm not like all that surprised that he's coming out now. When he first came out, it was kind of weird because he didn't even eat a full course of Kasia. He just ate some of that Komatsu prepped. When Blue comes out, his hair is back to being black. I believe so. Akasia cocking back for a gourmet something. Maybe another gourmet punch. He senses something and something attacks him and Blue. They sent. Oh, shit. I just scroll down. It's fucking God. Did he finish devouring all the creatures around them? Chill. Bro. God. What? He's targeting Akasia. Akasia has to block. Damn it. Yo, that tongue action is fierce. This man is the supreme overlord of Conalangus. We all know. <laughs> yeah! He's like a fly on his tongue. Holy shit. Okay. He's slurping the tongue. He's nerfing the attack. But that tongue is flesh. And I don't know if he can nerf a lot of that attack. I'm not too sure. And then he plunges the tongue into the ground. Wait, 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 Did he just plunge his tongue straight through the fucking planet? And Neo continues to munch on his tongue. Bro. It's fucking nuts. And I think God felt that. He feels the munching and he begins like a barrage of attacks down. He just had an attack that went through the fucking planet. A Neptune class planet. A Neptune class planet. Duh. Come on. So now he's rapid firing attacks through the planet. A Neptune class planet. That's very important. That, you have no idea how important that shit is. Like some folks always ask, why do you keep on saying that? Because it's really fucking important. All right. It gives you a sense of scale. <laughs> Holy shit. So he's slamming through multiple times through the planet, like in rapid fire sessions. And then that is the tongue. I mean, I don't know how much Neo ate of it, but Neo ate something of it, I think, because it's kind of flat like that. That's my guess, but then it's not bleeding. I'm not too sure, but that's the hole. And Acacia comes out of that hole. <laughs> Yo, he's so funny. Like, I don't know, man. Like, those three tongues and shit, and, those, and that face is just hilarious sometimes. God, when I'm done with you, there won't be even a drop of blood left behind. And he, mm, tongue is fucking salty, man. This man gets salty quick as fuck, dude. <laughs> this man spends 17 hours a day at the beach. He... <laughs> <laughs> he is always covered in salt.
Acacia is taking damage. God is too powerful. We need to join in the preparations as well. And as Adam says that, he senses something. Toriko. Why? Where? Jet Nailgun. He's attacking Adam. I don't know why he's attacking them, but he is. Well, maybe because God has targeted Acacia. He's going to leave Acacia to God. And he's going to handle the Nitro because the Nitro are there to assist Acacia. Then you don't even stand a chance stepping foot in here completely unarmed. And then Pear, who I would figure would have more dialogue for Toriko, Pear just says, there's no use talking. Kill him. I would figure Pear would have a lot more dialogue than just simply put, kill this motherfucker. We ain't got no time for talking. And then Toriko is like, bring it on, Blue Nitro. But by the way, I'm not unarmed. In fact, right now, I'm flipping the switch. Here we fucking go. This goddamn switch where you can just smell the fucking cosmos. And shit. The man can smell the cosmos. The switch is being flipped. Oh, boy. Red versus Adam. Blue versus Pear and Toriko in the middle rocking the black hair? Bro, <laughs> yo, flipping the switch, letting the demons loose, except for the third one. Where is he? Come on, bro. Stop fucking hiding, goddammit. Blue is out. He's having a ball. Red too. So Grimpatch, Tommy Rod, and Starjan doing a combo attack to take out the former members of the Bishokuya. Okay, some shit just went down. Tommy Rod, nice teamwork, Grin. And then Grin, of course, just, again, he's an addict. Oh, I want to drink some poison already. And then from that, we have Tommy Rod and Grin are, like, melting away. My oh my, it appears they neglected to deal with my fungus. Wait, 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 hold on, but I thought that you were fighting Coco and... St what? Joa? Joey? Hold on, is it really her? Oh, I can't tell. I can't tell if it's her or not, because Manga Stream is giving me this fucking bullshit. Yeah, yeah, thanks, Manga Stream. All right, let me let me just fucking refresh this goddamn page. Hold on. Shit, it is her. How the fuck? When the fuck? Which means there's no saving them from instant death. Dude, it's Joey. Then you have Sunny, Coco, you have Zebra on the ground right there. She took them out. I want to see that fight. When, when the fuck did this happen? Hold on. It can't be already. Not already. We fought for nearly an hour in the back channel. You, you see, like... The back channels are being abused. Maybe because of something to do with like, the story ending. I mean, that's the way it seems at this point in time. But the back channels are being massively abused. I mean, they fought for an hour. We saw nothing of it. That was all skimmed. And then Joey's just there. I mean, there's a possibility that it's once again a poison doll on Coco's part. It could very well be. They really did have some backbone, but without luck, you will simply die. Yeah, the freaking OP food luck in the middle of combat that even bested Midera, but according to Toriko, Midera was not defeated. Yo, fucking star. Star. Starjun. Serious as fuck right now. Do you know whose son I am? Like, when was that even important, bro? Like, what? I mean, granted, I always want to know who, but, but now it's like a thing. Now it's like, listen, do you know who my dad is? Do you know who my mama is? Do you know who gave birth to me, motherfucker? <laughs> Bitch, do you <laughs> Okay, hold on. Hold on. And whoever are your parents are also the parents of Toriko. And that freaking eye in the forehead. Who is this grooming demon? I want to find out more about, about that guy. And then Joey is just like, uh, what? Like, is, is this relevant? Like, maybe what he's trying to imply here is that your luck doesn't mean a goddamn thing. Because I am the son of whomever. So we have God doing his thing, we have Otake, I can see it, I can see God's appetite, I can see the root that is sucking in energy through. Alright, I've grabbed hold, this is the spot, he's gonna cut, What? what is this? What has Otake seen? Don't know. We're gonna find out next time on the magnificence of Toriko. So, that is it, I am done. Holy shit, alright man, a lot to talk about for the review. 
but I will save that for tomorrow. That video will be quite long because I'll be covering three chapters in one go. So that review, I'm probably, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be over 30 minutes. That's <laughs> that's my guess. But either way, I'm done. So King Lightning, rate the video, comment, subscribe. Peace. Have a nice goddamn day.